so long. So you guys can see the car is in pieces right now. I bet you've never seen a 991.2 GT3 RS just in pieces like you have this one. But no, there's no wing on it. Ooh, look at that. What is up everyone? Welcome back to another vlog. So I want to hop directly into the title and thumbnail of this video. You're probably here because you like cars or you are interested in wrecked supercars. So we're about to talk about that really quick stick around to the end of this video because if you guys like cars I was just in Utah and I brought the vlog camera and we went to Lux Auto Spa we went to makes and models I hung out with Strad man and we did a lot of really awesome car stuff so if you like cars stick around till after I talk about this and you can see all of that footage next part of this video um, something I've been seeing going around a lot on YouTube lately I personally watch YouTube videos whenever I have free time that's like what I like to do for fun I feel like it's healthy for me I'm a youtuber I make YouTube videos so it's good to watch them I don't know, don't question me. I've been watching these guys, they're called The Goon Squad, I think is their channel, and then of course you guys know who TJ Hunt is. There's this big trend going around where you, where people are rebuilding supercars, okay? I, I've bought a supercar before, you've seen those kind of videos. These kind of things like really interest me, so I wanted to ask you guys. We're about to look at a couple of wrecked supercars. I've never looked online at any type of wrecked supercar or wrecked expensive cars. I never really had a reason to until right now. I also wanna ask you guys, would that be entertaining to you? you because I know my channel is not like an entire car channel I know that um, the Fox fam loves their car videos and it's it's fun to make car videos every once in a while and then do some lifestyle stuff and kind of go back and forth but that's kind of why I wanted to ask you would that be something that you guys could be interested in um, me buying a wrecked car and then us somehow figuring out how to rebuild it I don't know um, let me know in the comments down below if that's something that interests you but for now I've never shopped or don't know how to shop for a wrecked car. So we're gonna hop on my laptop. I wanna look at a couple really quick and then we're gonna go to Utah and, and then do all that other car stuff. I've never done this before. So this is the first time for the both of us. Wrecked supercars for sale. Boom, boom. Junk your wrecked car for cash. Mm. Buy best cheap car insurance. No, mm. one online auto auction used in salvage vehicles. Okay, first thing, let's look at Lambos. Let's look at Lamborghini. I've seen a lot of people rebuilding Lamborghinis. I've never seen anyone rebuild a Lamborghini Murcielago. Wow, the interior's very, ooh, you can see the damage, holy <laughs> This is my first time doing this. Okay, this bid ends in one day and 18 hours. Look at the, the damage on this isn't terrible. It looks like it got rear-ended. I'm not a car professional, by the way, so I don't know what's a good deal, what's not. This is just to kind of get the idea flowing for you guys and see if you're even interested in this. Ooh, let's look at a Ferrari. I know TJ Hunt is rebuilding a Ferrari 458. 2011 Ferrari California, $40,000. There's a lot of California. Two Californias up here for 40, around 40, $42,000. Ah, here we go. Here's a beautiful, this is a great, this is a great one. This is a good one. This was a Ferrari? Like, are you sure? 1999 Ferrari F35. Who would buy it? Zero dollars? Okay, maybe not. Maybe we probably couldn't rebuild that one. That'd probably be a lot of work. Oh, let's see what they got in the Porsche section. I've never seen anyone rebuild a Porsche. I've seen a lot of Lamborghini Huracans and a lot of Ferraris. I'm shopping for Porsche. Here we go, baby. Not a lot of exciting Porsches on this website. I'm sure there's more websites. Guys, I literally Googled this for the first time a couple minutes ago, just for you guys. Let's try Nissan GTR. Just to see. Ooh, here we go. Here we go. 2012 Nissan GTR Platinum Edition Black Edition Salvage. All right, so it looks like this this just straight hit someone. The back of it's fine. Everything's beautiful. The interior, the airbag has gone off. You can see that. It's so scary to see a car like like this. Just 23,000 miles. Okay, bid starting at $10,000. Could you see a GTR rebuild? Maybe make Guaxilla's sister? I'm not gonna keep looking at cars right now because I just kind of wanted to open the conversation to you guys. If that's something that you could see me doing on this channel, please comment down below. I, I would be highly interested in rebuilding a wreck supercar. I don't know how that'd be possible. Maybe I could partner with like Sheepy Racing. I just went over there, they're close. Stick around because you do not want to miss this, I swear. All right, so now, I'm gonna take you guys to Utah with me. I'm starting my vlog right now because there could not be a better place. In every vlog, I always say that there's no better place to start the vlog than right now. Well, there's no better place to start today's vlog than right now, Sean. I'm free. We, we're gonna... I'm a Porsche guy and there's Porsche heaven here. Uh, yeah, we're sitting in a 918 right now. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another vlog. Look at this beautiful liner, lining on the seats right here. Anyways, first time starting a 918. We're gonna start today's vlog. How do I do this? Oh, boom, same as my car. All right, guys. It's probably not gonna make a noise because it's hybrid, huh? <laughs> Bean place. Is it, is it on? They didn't even make a noise. Just switch time. it over right here. Hold on. Just switch it over. Boom. It's not on yet. Oh, hold on. on. So this is a hybrid engine, guys. It's electric and it's gas powered. We gotta move that little dial. Whoop. Oh, 
There it goes. Guys, look at the car I was just in. This is where I was just sitting. I've seen a couple of 918s in my day, but this one, I love the spec on it. I like the dark. What's the paint on this? What is it? I don't it? even know. Is Midnight it? blue? Midnight blue with the martini wrap. It's got all the beautiful it's green the trim. It's just the little thing. It really is. Like all the nice little green trim. For starting today's vlog with the 918. And now I probably have to explain a little bit of where I am. So starting today's Utah. vlog out here at Lux hey, in nice. Utah. Welcome. Special guest, Saunders. Holiday in the house. Um, so we're actually here to check out my Porsche. Wait, 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 wait. We're gonna see it first. Okay guys, so we are getting the project started on the Porsche. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna directly tell you what we're doing, but the project is officially starting. And uh, Tanner, I freaking love you, yeah, dude. Dude, this is your we're Porsche Bros for life. Yes, we are, exactly. Um, so Sean was a little bit of an inspiration into me getting a Porsche. So this is Sean's first time seeing it. What do you think? Porsche Bros for life. It's crazy in person, huh? We've been talking about it for so long. So you guys can see that the car is in pieces right now. I bet you've never seen a 991.2 GT3 RS just in pieces. No center caps, all the little window. The window things, the door inside of the doors. Okay, guys, so we are getting the project started on the Porsche right now. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna directly tell you what we're doing, but the project is officially starting. And uh, Tanner, I freaking love you, yeah, dude. Dude, this is your Porsche Bros for life. Yes, we are exactly. Um, so Sean was a little bit of an inspiration into me getting a Porsche. So this is Sean's first time seeing it. What do you think? Porsche Bros for life. It's crazy in person, huh? We've been talking about it for so long, so you guys can see the car is in pieces right now. I bet you've never seen a 991.2 GT3 RS just in pieces, like you have this one. Look, no, there's no wing on it, no center caps, all the little window, the window things, the door inside of the doors. Ooh, look at that. So big wing, no big wing gang, no big wing gang. The wing gang's over here. It's chilling off the side. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, hey Sean, you want to see a magic trick? Yeah, yeah, I know, yeah. for real, it's like flying out to your girlfriend. Feels, huh? You want to see a magic trick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, try it out. Try it out. It's kind of crazy, huh? Try it. Magic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The project is about to begin. I want you all to comment down below and guess what you think we're doing to the Porsche right now. And if you guess, if you're smart enough and you know what they're doing right now, this is just the beginning. You guys aren't gonna even be able to guess or begin to imagine what we're doing with the car. So kind of what you're talking about, like inverse Yo. cars. That's exactly what we need to do. Dude. What did you just say though? What are these cars? Who owns these? So these are these who? are our Cars for Kids Foundation cars. No way! So we do all like sick and injured children, children's charities is kind of what these cars. That is so cool. So. Let me see the rendering, guys. So this is what these cars are gonna look like. That's so cool. Yeah, circle back to that so, so you said you said I could we could drive these next time I come out to Utah. Yeah, so anytime you come out, to take them out. Me and Sean go for a little race. Road trip. Question is, Sean, which one are you gonna pick? Which one are you choosing? Uh, the fastest one. The fastest one. I'll go with this one. You're, I like the minimalistic look. Yeah. You know, no, no seats. seats saves weight. Casual. Saves like, weight. Outdoors. Better for the race. Minimalist. Exactly. Yeah. No doors for better yeah. downforce. <laughs> Holy! <laughs> Do that again. Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, okay. Came from our walls. Literally. Oh my god. I was wondering what it was raining. <laughs> the Lambo was so loud, stuff was falling out of the roof. Oh, look out, guys! Everyone back up! Back up! Back up! Oh, we don't want any trouble, we don't want any trouble, all right? We just wrapped up our tour here at Lux Automotive. We gotta check out some of the cars outside. We have the nice NSX, we got a GT2 RS right here, all blacked out, all murdered out. That thing looks so good. Hey okay, guys, so this Acura NSX apparently has an exhaust on it. Let's go. Six-cylinder hybrid turbo, holy hell. Don't don't fact check me on that. Don't fact check us on that, guys. We don't know, I don't drive these cars. I don't think anyone does. More importantly, my car is inside of here. So if you guys live in Utah, um, just look up Luxon hours of like operation and if they're open. Hey Cougar, would people be allowed to come look at my car? Yep. 
Okay, so if you if you guys want to come see the GT3 RS, if you live in Utah, um, make sure they're open. Come check it out. Talk to Cougar, and um, <laughs> maybe he'll show you out the car. But uh, I'm going home back to California tomorrow, so we're only out here today. I had to come check out the Porsche. Had to come see Lux. Had to come see the cool cars. Thanks for the tour again, man. Of course, man. Good to see you. Can't wait for the Porsche to be done. So you haven't been in my vlog in so long, man. Uh, When's the last no, time Alex was in one of my it's vlogs? Been, was it like Dubai, bro? Dubai. Uh, yeah, yeah, boys. What's up, vlog? I haven't even explained why I'm in Utah. Talk about Sean, it. why am I in Utah? Secret. Secrets. Ooh. Secrets. Ooh. Secrets. Sean's going to the airport. I'm staying in Utah. I'm taking your life. <laughs> this is weird. I'm going to stay with Holiday. Why? You go to the airport. You're flying to Temecula. Go to and then you guys will live my life and I'll stay here. Sounds good. Yeah, we have a project going down in your backyard that's going to be pretty big. I need to work on. Easy enough, man. Okay. Safe travels. All right, guys, stop number two. We are down here at Makes and Models. The last time I was in Utah, I made a pretty viral video. It was called Taking a Lamborghini Race Car Through a McDonald's Drive Thru. Hello. Yeah. Check that out. Check it, get it. Come on, through the window, baby. Let's go. And uh, we picked up the Lamborghini Super Trofeo Evo from Makes and Models, but this time they have a new location. So we're basically making the entire Utah car rounds. We're showing you everything that Utah has. Check it out. We, have, we even have a Guaxilla wannabe in the flesh right over here, guys. Aw, so cute. Special guest! Whose car is this? Whose car is this? Stradman! Welcome to Utah. And I heard you, you had some illegal modifications. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. You had some illegal modifications. Yeah, what I'm happened? Guilty. What, guilty. What'd you do? What'd you do? Window tint. <sighs> window tint. <laughs> Every time. No exhaust. They no get you. Oh, yeah. The exhaust, no exhaust the ticket like me. Tint. The window, the window tint. tint. That's where they'll get you. You're a criminal. All right, guys. So this is the Stradman's brand new Lamborghini Aventador. The last time I saw you, you were talking about this. I was. You're right. You, were, you haven't even got it yet. Guys, look at this. Sis or doors? What are your, what's your favorite part about the car? Is it the doors? V12, V12. The not the, not the, the doors? The flames, it'll spit fireballs on demand. Oh. On demand, every time, every time. At a, at a still? Yeah, uh -huh. you could and do on it. the highway you too. Could, you could potentially you do, do it right now? The, well, you can't see it because it's bright out. Okay, okay later, we'll wait till later. Later, later. Sure, we'll see the flames, sure, we'll see yes. the flames. Well, congratulations, man. We'll have to race the RS in this. Let's do it. We're going on a right. canyon run. My RS is here. My RS is here. We can yes. go on a canyon run. Yes, because the we'll have to do that, bro. When it's done, we'll go out. We'll go out for a drive. Look, check this car out. Do you guys remember this car? You remember this car? Oh, yeah. You remember that car? We took that car through the McDonald's drive through and that video got like 8 million views. Did you know that? Whoa, no. Yeah. 8 million views on my channel. Holy, this is their new showroom. Oh, my goodness. How are we seeing every supercar in we're, all of we're Utah? We're making the rounds today, yeah. We have seen them all, guys. Look, we got the 991.2. What's your favorite? What's your favorite, Stradman? You had to pick one thing. Am I not allowed to say my own car? <laughs> you can't say your own car. You can't say your own car. You you have to pick you have to pick a car in here. Um, probably GT3 RS, just like yours. Good call. But I think Good I'd call. probably go green over white. Green over white? I don't know. I need Lizard to green? I need to see yours. You do. That you drive, do. So you do. We'll get, yeah. Wow, so they have like a way bigger showroom now. Apparently, this is the old Ferrari store that was in Utah. It is, exactly. That's yeah. crazy. So lots of space. All right, I gotta check out the interior. Oh that is literally icy. Look at that. Oh, it smells so new in here. This is an Alpina. I don't even know what you call this car. That is luxury, boy. This is the best smelling car I've ever been in. Yes, it does. I don't even know why. I've never been in a car that I like the smell of it, but this is it. We got the nice E36 M3 race car for my boy Hunter. Step your game up, bro. Step your game up. I know you want it. I know you want this cage. I know you want this race seat. This is so cool. You guys can see all the, like, all the exotic cars. Straight from the front desk, right here, boom. So I was feeling bored while I was in Utah. Went to the Ferrari dealership. And I decided to pick up uh, a new car. So we're gonna go take a ride in. Don't worry. We'll give her a nice little. So in great YouTube fashion, we somehow ended up in an F12. Not amazing. Doesn't this just always happen? I love it. I was in a Courage GT three days ago. Oh, no way. I don't even know how. Dude, that here is we are in an F12 in Utah. We gotta give her the ultimate test. The tunnel. <laughs> it's just funny because I don't know how these things keep happening, guys. I just actually came to Utah and we ended up in a Ferrari like with the Stradman himself. <laughs> and because the F12 was just not enough, we're gonna take the Aventador. Ah, look at this. My first time in a normal Aventador. Place to eat in all of Utah. 
We don't have this in California, but I'll show, I'll show you in one second. Pulling up to Costa Vida. Let's go! You guys, the absolute best part about the Aventador. Oh, this is her doors. And just like that, guys, we wrapped up an entire day of work. Me and Holiday were just jamming at the space station. Um, so actually, I'll, I'll tell them a little bit about who you are. Because you, right. you guys have seen the Hot Wheel that I have in, in Walmart and in stores and all this kind of stuff. So you've probably been also curious, who who's this guy in the videos all day? He's been in the videos in the past. Um, so this is actually Holiday. We work together on quite a bit of stuff. And Holiday is actually the reason that we could make the Hot Wheel happen. We went to Hot Wheels meetings like two years ago to start to start that little thing and it was me and holiday so um we've just been jamming today we've been kind of planning out our year talking a bunch about space station gaming guys so much fun stuff going uh including some special items in stores and Ooh. some very special stuff in some online stores i'm not going to say much more but head to the airport right now thanks for being a good a good utah guide he got that t fox brand on so uh, if you guys want to shop on T Fox brand, let's go. You, you know where to go. There's a link in the description. I'm headed to the airport and I'm flying back to San Diego. Yo, what's up, dude? Subscribe, hit the thumbs up, post notifications, roll the fox paint.